difficult and uh, it's a challenge that we face uh, pretty much every year. Uh, so we thought, let's address the challenge this time. So since morning, we've been talking about challenges, ideas and solutions. So for this as well, we thought, you know, why to just let the challenge be there? Can we do something about it? So we thought we should uh, start the post-lunch session with something that will tickle you up a little bit. Uh, I won't uh, steal the thunder of the next speaker by telling how it, you'll be tickled. Uh, let me just go ahead and introduce him. So we have with us... Uh, Dr. Jagdish Chaturvedi, he's going to tickle you up. Um, he's an ENT surgeon, entrepreneur, medical device innovator, author, and stand-up comedian. Can you imagine all of that in one person? He trained at... <laughs> he trained at St. John's Medical College and Hospital, Bangalore, and uh, he's also a Stanford India Biodesign Fellow in 2012 holds an MBA degree in uh, entrepreneurship and hospital management. His core expertise lies in the process of identifying and analyzing unmet clinical needs for quick development of low cost and high quality medical devices and teaching and training the biodesign process. Since 2010, he has co-invented and developed 18 affordable medical devices addressing the unmet needs in the Indian healthcare system. Dr. Jagdish Chaturvedi is currently founder and director of uh, HIIIH Innovations Private Limited. He's going to tell what that means. I have no clue. Uh, he is recognized as one of the 35 innovators under the age of 35 by the MIT Technology Review 2016. He is, of course, a stand-up comedian popularized by his YouTube channel. So post the show, do go to his YouTube channel, do all the likes and shares and what have you. And uh, last but not the least, and lo and behold, uh, he is also the author of a best-selling book. He's author of many books, but I'll call out one on medical device innovations called Inventing Medical Devices, a Perspective from India. So without further ado, let me get Dr. Jagdish Chaturvedi on stage. <laughs> All right. Um Oh, you guys look pretty warmed up, okay. Uh, how many of you have attended stand-up comedy? Give me a cheer. So yeah, this, this, is, this, is, this is not stand-up comedy. Okay, so stand-up comedy is an active format. I want to hear. So I will hear you for feedback. I don't want this classroom thing, okay? So let's do a quick test, okay? Um, all the youngsters, young blood under the age of 30, can you give me a loud cheer? Yeah. Okay, this is the sound of denial. <laughs> this is denial, okay. People over the age of 30, the mature guys, give me a loud cheer. This is the sound of reality. <laughs> this is reality, okay. Okay, married people, give me a cheer. <laughs> That's the sound of pain. <laughs> can we turn down the echo a bit? It was like on the mic, can you turn on the Is it echoing for you? It's just for me, it's just feedback. You're good, okay, it's my feedback, all right. Okay, guys, so my, my name is Dr. Jagdish Chaturvedi. I'm an uh, ENT surgeon and a sinus specialist. Those with allergy, give me an achi. See, on-demand symptoms. On-demand, like, I can just ask, where is a patient? And they will say, achi. <laughs> you know? Thank God I'm not a gastroenterologist, actually. <laughs> and don't even think about other fields. I know someone, what if he's a gynecologist? No, no. <laughs> so don't go down that road. Uh, but, you know, I'm very... I think I'm very lucky to be a doctor. I have this kind of a superpower, you know, that how much ever I want to charge my patients, they're willing to pay. I first started with 500, no problem. 1,000, no problem. 1,500, 2,000. I was wondering yeah, why are people paying for me? You know why? Because of my name, Dr. Jagdish Chaturvedi. Paidaishi Budau, you know. Now, if you close your eyes and picture Dr. Jagdish Chaturvedi, you will see LK Advani. Because that is what a Jagdish Chaturvedi should sound and look like, <laughs> right? So people think, okay, and that, that's a very elderly name, right? It's a very elderly, high-achieving name. Like, and I had that problem since I was born, you know, when I was born, the nurse assisting the doctor, you know. Ale, 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 such a cute baby, what is his name? Jagdish Chaturvedi. Good afternoon, sir. <laughs> right, sir, why is he crying? Because that's, that's the effect, right? And people come with a lot of expectations. Oh, we are going to go to a very senior doctor, you know, all of that. And they come into my chamber and they look at my baby face and they're like, Dr. Chaturvedi, kidare? I'm like, 
आई एम डॉक्टर चतुर्वेदी सिस्टर डॉक्टर चतुर्वेदी के रूम में वरुण गांधी क्या कर रहा है यू नो रेट ऑल ऑफ यू गोइंग लाइक या या फॉर द यंगस्टर्स मोटा इमरान हाशमी यू नो सी वन ऑफ टू यंगस्टर्स yeah it's uh, it's tough uh, it's tough to practice nowadays i was just wondering you know why is it so tough to uh, practice and i think you know it's all because of our smartphones and social media i think you know everything is that everyone has an uh, has a smartphone right who doesn't have a smartphone give me a cheer okay that's not something you should share anyway <laughs> but you have there's an app everyone has apps on their phones right there is an app for everything nowadays you know like one day i was thinking what is there an app not for and i found an app for that it is called apne app dhoond lo <laughs> you know there's an app for everything and you know what apps are doing nowadays is they're changing the way we used to look at professions professions that were earlier not looked very respectfully apps are making them look cool like you know i used to when i was a kid i used to travel with my parents on train and all that and i used to like those guys who used to sell idli dosa vada pav you know chahiye chahiye garam garam chahiye dosa idli sambar you know i like that i wanted to be i couldn't i couldn't tell my parents that's what i wanted to be but today swiggy is doing that same thing tarkareya big basket a chotu pass the bottle donezo you know daskati 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 is book my show yeah 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 you know i like a must item i a tinder main pagal ho gaya hu tiktok you know <laughs> it's just all these crazy things are looking very cool nowadays because of these apps and you know and what these apps are doing is you know they're collecting a lot of your information and anyone can contact you right and someone's come up with a very apt name for it sir we got a lot of data is it big yeah call it big data creativity you know <laughs> it's big call it big data and you know what happens is that people can then call you you know and sell their products you like how many of you you know I, i'm sure all of you you receive this call in the morning no very good morning it's a very good morning sir i am shobha speaking from personal department do you want a loan i'm like shobha i want to be alone <laughs> you know and this very good morning calls you get and once you hear this very good morning you know your morning is not going to be very good right so i came up with strategies of how to stop these calls so if somebody calls you know very good morning sir i am shobha i'm like i raja 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 dot sekta rajo you know sometimes i just pick the call and i cut it then pick the call again and then cut it unka paisa katta hai but the one strategy that works every time is when i get you know very good morning raj you know very good morning i'm speaking i'm like yeah very good morning i am a startup company i'm looking for seed investment i have a lovely powerpoint presentation i have not put any of my own money are you interested to invest they block me <laughs> you know <laughs> but i still pick these calls you know you never know sometimes it's a patient right but sometimes there's very interesting calls like one day i picked a call and there was this lady on the other side and she's like hmm khana khaya aur like khaya pani piya uh, piya pyaas bhuji no who's who's speaking who's speaking can you give me a clue clue chahiye nut cut भूल गया मुझे आई एम लाइक नहीं नहीं हु आर यू आर यू फ्रॉम माय क्लासमेट आर यू माय स्कूलमेट गिव मी अ क्लू यू वांट अ क्लू आई एम लाइक या आर यू इंटरेस्टेड या आर यू अलोन या सर वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग सर मैं शोभा बोल रही हूँ पर्सनल लोन डिपार्टमेंट से अभी दो दिन पहले तो बात की थी आपसे आई एम लाइक शोभा यू तुम तो कुछ और देने वाली थी लाइक सर ये सब आपको शोभा नहीं देती एज अ पन ओवर देर एनी but it's uh, it's tough yeah guys um, but you know i know there needs to be app that's kind of technology and you know i've been uh, inventing and i wanted to share how i started off inventing um, so you know i was at st john's medical college any johnites here johnites i saw dr tony somewhere oh he's upstairs okay he's good <laughs> all right uh, so st john's and um, we used to go to these rural postings right and um, i was a student and uh, you you know even today how we examine someone's throat when we're there you know we basically make the patient sit in front of us and ask them to open their mouth and say zuba kesari <laughs> dane dane mein kesar ka dam right and then we take this long mirror you know it's a mirror with a long handle and we hold the tongue and put the mirror behind and you know if that's itself fogging and not easy there is a headlamp light from behind that will go reflect on that mirror fogging mirror with the manik chand and the you know <laughs> all of that and you're supposed to see the vocal cords you know 
Like sometimes if I see the vocal cord for a second, my heart skips a beat. I'm like, <gasps> you know, like it's easier to see the moon in Karwa Chauth than to see that glimpse of that vocal cord, you know. And I, I don't understand anything. I can't see. I can't recognize. So I'm making sounds as if I'm doing something useful. Hmm, hmm, you know. And you know, afterwards, I'm only going to do guesswork, right? And then I have this senior of mine who likes to trouble me. And you know, how seniors like to rag juniors, right? So he's seeing another patient's throat. He's like, Jagdish, come here. Tell me the findings in this patient. So again, go put the mirror, Manik Chand, more stronger. You know, I'm trying to see vocal cords. I don't understand anything. But my colleagues have trained me. They're like, Jagdish, if your senior ever asks you any question, tell the safest answer. So I told, sir, this patient is normal. Because God has its own balancing system. If he deserves to live, he'll survive. <laughs> my, my senior is like, thank God you could make out something. I couldn't make out anything myself. Right? And that's the first time fear struck us because both of us had no clue what we're doing with this patient, right? Trying to see vocal cords. And that time, you know, um, Swadesh had released, you know, it's a movie that brings out the Indianness. And I was in the rural area and I was under the influence of Zuba Kesari, you know. So at that point of time, I was not thinking very straight. I was like, I need to do something for my country, you know. I was like, hey, hey, kuch karna hai, you know. <laughs> You know, these people, you know, we come from there, they're coming from leaving their work, we are not understanding anything, they may have throat cancer, we must be missing it, and we need to do something about it, right? So I went in that intoxicated state, and I did something what most people wouldn't do, is I went to my boss, and I had a very angry boss, his name is Dr. Ravi Nair, I have his permission to, to say this, and <laughs> I go to him, I'm like, I go to him and say, sir, we go to rural areas, and we're taking a mirror, to look at early lesions of vocal cords, and we can't make out anything. But here in the hospital, we have a three-chip camera, flat screen TV, halogen light, all of that. When patients come over here, we can see their cancer from outside. Right? We need something like this over there. That's how we can pick early lesions over there. You know, so why can't we get this kind of an endoscopy recording system in the rural area? And he's at the end of the OPD, so he's, just, he's sitting like this, and he's like, he asked me a question, he's like, Jagdish, tu bhonkne wala kutta hai ki kaatne wala kutta hai? No, are you a barking dog or a biting dog? I'm like out of syllabus question, but he's my thesis guide, so I have to answer. I said, um, you know, barking dogs are never good. So I said, uh, sir, I'm kaatne wala kutta hai. So he's like, tu bhonk kyo raha hai? <laughs> Kyun? <laughs> Coming at the end of my OPD and barking, bah, 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 why this is not here, why that is not here? He's like, man, I have hundred things to do. Huh? If you want to do something about it, why don't you do something about it? I'm like, sir, salary 9,000 rupees. I'm surviving somehow. <laughs> On top of that, how will I do this? And then, you know, I didn't want to anger him too much. So I realized I have to do something. But I needed some money because I had an idea. I thought, why can't I take a digital camera, take a standard endoscope, figure out a small mechanical coupler that connects the two. You know, it will become a portable. Why do we need such a big system? I needed about 50,000 or 70,000 rupees for it. I didn't have money. But you know, Indian parents will give you money if you can wiggle your lower jaw in the right frequency that flutters their heart. <laughs> Absolutely, you have to practice that, you know. So I go to my parents, I'm like <laughs> <laughs> Too much stress, I need some money, there's a project and all of that. So my parents are like, what happened, what happened, how much you want? I'm like, one lakh, Abhi ek lakh, lakh chahi. I'm like, 50,000 rupees, you know, got some money made a prototype through a mechanical engineer, and it worked, and it was amazing, you know, I could actually see the vocal cords for the first time myself, and <laughs> carry it on a digital camera, and it was portable, and the compliance of the patients changed, because now when I show the patient uh, their own vocal cords, they are like, oh, this is the problem, and they would follow up. So I went to Dr. Ravi Nair, and I'm like, sir, look, kata laga. <laughs> And that time he said something, he's like, Jagdish, if you would have ignored me and gone away, I would have forgiven you. But now you're on to something. This has to go all the way to the market. I'm like, take this to the market. He's like, no, this is a prototype. This is not a product. You need to form a company. You need to raise money. You need to make this an actual product. I'm like, but sir, I wanted to do ENT <laughs> when I came here. You know, how am I going to you know, do this? Um, and then he told me, you need to make a company. I'm like, what do you need for a company? He's like, you need a co-founder. I'm like, oh, I need a co-founder. So I went home, I had a wife, so I, you know, I asked her, you're my partner in life, you want to form a company with me? She said, no. So I went to the next best option, her sister. She agreed. <laughs> you know, 
साली आदि घर वाली टाइप यू नो आदि काम वाली आई वुड से बट यू नो शी वॉज फ्रॉम आई आई टी चेन्नई शी डन आर एरोनॉटिक इंजीनियरिंग एंड शी वॉज इन गेटिंग अ जॉब सो शी इज लाइक वी फॉर्म अ कंपनी वी फॉर्म अ कंपनी टुगेदर वी ट्राई टू रेस फंडिंग वी स्ट्रगल इट वॉज नॉट वेरी यू नो ईजी एंड आई वेंट टू डॉक्टर रवि नायर एंड सेट सर लुक आई ट्राइड माई बेस्ट आई कॉन्ट टेक दिस प्रोडक्ट बियॉन्ड प्रोटोटाइप स्टेज एंड आई नीड टू फिनिश माई ई एन टी एंड कंटिन्यू बींग अ डॉक्टर एंड ई एम्पथाइज इज लाइक ओके जगदीश आई लेट यू गो बट जस्ट एस आई वॉज लिविंग द रूम ही स्टॉप मी एंड सेट जगदीश If we doctors don't know how to invent, someone must be knowing how to invent. I'm like, uh, yes, sir. Someone must be knowing. Why don't you learn from them and come? <laughs> that doesn't work on your boss. <laughs> and that time I came to know about this fellowship called Stanford India Bio Design. How many of you have heard of the Stanford India Bio Design program? Quite a few of you, right? It's a fantastic program uh, run by the government of India, which sends four people basically: a doctor, engineer, scientist, designer. Send them to Stanford University to learn how to invent and come back, right? And I got selected in that program in 2012. And uh, me and a designer and an engineer and a scientist, we we flew to the U.S. Uh, to the Bay Area to learn how to invent this with this process called bio design. And there I had three key learnings, guys. Uh, the first learning was. the people who were teaching us how to invent in the us were doctors from india with american accents raj doshe uday kumar anurag mehral i'm like we flew across seven oceans hame koi andrew jaise ka to do yaar like <laughs> What will I go home and tell my parents? I learned from Dr. Raj Doshi. Oh, Doshi uncle, I'm not not Dr. Doshi uncle, Raj Doshi. I'm like, like I, that was my first eye opener. I was like, what is happening here? You know? And I asked Dr. Raj Doshi. I'm like, Dr. Raj Doshi, how are you? You know, what made you? How are you inventing here? Like, I don't understand. You are a cardiologist. You know what? Like, no, I was a mechanical engineer and I became a cardiologist. <laughs> you became? What does that mean? I, I didn't like the I like the mechanics, but I didn't want. I wanted a real life mechanics, you know, the heart, you know, the machine. So I became a cardiologist. You became like avatar, eh? Yeah, like <laughs> we try for 10, 15 years, we only become losers. <laughs> It's very difficult, right, to become a cardiologist. It's like no, but I became a cardiologist. Then I wanted to invent in cardiology and mix my mechanical engineering and cardio. I'm like, you stop talking for some time, sir, please. All right, okay. Then I asked him that where where did you do your your MBBS from? Uh, Navi Mumbai. Navi Mumbai, India. Like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, our government is paying Indian students to go to US to learn from Indian doctors who trained in India. I'm like, it was like inception over inception for me. <laughs> Two three nights just taking tequila shots. I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> Then I asked Dr. Raj Doshi, you are from like we are very similar We've, in our training and everything. You've come here. You're able to teach. Uh, Uh, innovations. Why are we not able to invent in India? And that time he said something very interesting. He's like Jack Dish. <coughs> you know, when you come to Stanford University and you've got an idea and you want to develop a product, right? You can go to the cafeteria and you can talk to a designer. You can talk to a lawyer. You can talk to an engineer. You can talk to a model if you want a lot of them there. You know, you can, you can talk to whomever you want. And if they want to form a team, you want to form a startup company, Stanford University will give you a sabbatical for some time where you can explore your entrepreneurship, form a company, and then, you know, we will sell back your license when it's ready, just like how we did with Google. And then you can go to the Bay Area, to the vulture capitalist, I'm sorry, venture capitalist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, they'll take a piece of your company, we'll all be happy, you know, that's how it works. I'm like, oh. But the only time I meet an engineer is when he's a patient lying on the operation table. I was like, "Company, open it. I will save you. Your sister scalpel. Banana. You know, that's the only time I meet a non-doctor. Is you know that. And and I think that was one of the biggest learnings I had is the cross-disciplinary access. And that's one of the main things of the bio design process that we learned is that the engineer, designer, scientist, lawyers, everyone's you know co-located. They form teams together. The the funding is nearby. Everything's in an ecosystem, and that's what catalyzes it, right? Here, that's growing. I mean, from 2012 to now, it's, it's huge. You have so many events like this where people mingle, but not so much 10 years ago. And and. And the other thing about the bio design process that I learned is uh, is that they understand the problem first and then create the solution, whereas we are used to creating the solution first and then creating a new problem. <laughs> 
you know so like idea aa gaya a problem you know <laughs> they are like no understand the problem <laughs> understand the problem then the solution becomes obvious you know like no 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 i will think of the idea and then i will create a problem for everyone and then, you know it's different but i learned that okay you need to create a team first then i understand the problem then form a company then develop there's a whole structure to that and when i learned that i was like okay you just copy paste it jay shetty way you know <laughs> so came back to india and i was like um, i ran the stanford india biodesign internship program for some time and what we did was create teams send them to the hospital clinical immersion understand the core problem form company license out and we did that with about four or five products and i came back to bangalore uh, joined this company called enaxel and they were a wealthy company so took the product from idea to commercialization in ent and critical care and then one day dr ravinar says jagdish i heard you've been inventing devices and you know you're uh, you're also uh, practicing so why don't you come and talk to our doctors here i was like sure i came and gave a talk uh, at hcg cancer hospital to a lot of doctors it was very well received and i thought okay dr ravinar is finally going to pat my back and i was like <laughs> moon walking for a pat and he looks at me is like jagdish to abhi bhi bhonk raha hai now what are you talking about i'm inventing i'm practicing i'm doing something i'm i'm doing something on the ground why are you saying i'm still barking he's like but you are barking about it you how many places will you keep talking like this for one and a half two hours and how many colleges will you go how many engineers doctors are you going to do this to i was like point hey but what do i do he's like write it in a book but i'm like i'm not successful he's like nobody wants to know your success you failed a lot you're natural at it write about all the all the medtech devices you've goofed up write about your failures write about your learnings i'm, I'm like i didn't understand he's like and this is very important i quote him exactly what he said he's like jagdish don't wait for successes to start talking about it because sometimes being successful takes so long that when you write about it you can only inspire nobody can practically do anything about it but when you talk about failures somebody who's also failing similarly can make a course correction can learn something connect with you and it's more practical I was like good idea so I thought okay I I wrote a book called Inventing Medical Devices Perspective of India which is full of 10 failures case studies of how we messed up 10 products uh, in different domains and we put that out and I basically just wanted to publish it for Dr Ravinayar so that he just agrees I am a barking dog no biting dog <laughs> and to my surprise that book sold about 10000 copies in the first few months and I was surprised because I didn't expect people to buy that book there was no other book on Indian medtech and people were buying it and right and calling me and saying you know there are a lot of spelling mistakes in this book <laughs> the margins and all are not right i'm like i didn't expect you to read it's for one person and a call back all the copies go to a publisher re-release it again <laughs> but one thing i learned from that is there's a lot of business in failing it's a very good business model because when somebody reads about your failures they already feel good about themselves <laughs> paisa vasool <laughs> yeah So I wrote a book entirely on failures called Benefits of Failing Successfully which did even better. <laughs> parents are buying it for their school children giving it learn how to fail don't know you know like <laughs> and I'm like the failure god with an f written on it all like yeah <laughs> but uh, but you know having said that I think um, uh, what I'm doing now is I'll just leave you with this is um, I've started a company called Hi which is somebody was telling what Hi is is H triple I H you know. So it is one of the problems that i have seen is that doctors are not able to connect with entrepreneurs in india and and i think that's the reason why core medical clinical issues are not being addressed so hi is basically a linkedin and tinder for doctors and entrepreneurs so a doctor can find an engineer designer or whatever resource in their vicinity and then we provide them services to make that happen the story behind hi is that we wanted to call it hi uh regardless of you know what it is and we never got the domain like h i we didn't get a domain h w i we didn't get h w i we didn't get then we started adding h s so h i h also we didn't get h w i h we got a domain and then i had spent a lot of time with the government so i know how to make abbreviations so i called it healthcare innovation in indian healthcare <laughs> hi we we'll still call it hi <laughs> so that's the app you can download it and we're also trying to build a lot of awareness about this so we're releasing a web series for the first time on medical entrepreneurship called starting troubles it's going to come out next month it has actors like renuka shani and a very very good actor like me and <laughs> for exit shani and other people but you know that's basically what i've been doing and i'm running out of time probably overboard uh, but uh, thank you very much guys you've been wonderful audience and you know uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry I don't get this many claps I would like to video record it to make my
comedy friends jealous can we do this one more time guys thank you very much guys you've been a wonderful audience thank you wow yeah thank you very much thanks thanks all right thank you you know this is one thing i learned uh, uh, from from indians is jo chahiye wo mang lo de dete hain don't try all the other things but thanks guys have a good time thank you oh okay I request you to hand over a token of appreciation to Dr. Jagdish Chaturvedi. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Big boss. Yeah, <laughs> it's a big appreciation. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank, thank you very much. much. Very thank fun you. stuff. Thank, yeah, you. thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks. All right.